Hi, good evening, everybody. <laughs> okay, um, so I'm going to talk about animating SVG. I, the thing is, after I researched on it, I realized that it's, it's actually a, a really old thing, really, since like, I don't know, 2014, people are talking about it. So, yeah, I'm very late to the party, but it's okay. Okay, uh, first about me. Usually people put their photo, but I just put something that I, I, I uh, resonate well with me, uh, which is on the left. So uh, generally I do front end, sometimes iOS. If I go to an iOS meetup, I'll say I usually do iOS, but then sometimes front end. <laughs> so yeah, I uh, love to react. Um, and then currently I'm spending all my waking hours at Carousel. Uh, I have two handlers. The one on the left is Twitter, the one on the right is GitHub, because I cannot get the shorter one for Twitter. Okay, so um, I think it was last week we had our Carol hack, which is like a hackathon only for Carousel employee, very exclusive. Um, and then our team, it's uh, we did uh, an hour team hack. So this is our usual four four page on Carousel. Uh, this is a very static hour, which you will look at it if you uh, run to an error. So what we're trying to do is to actually make it move, make it more interactive, and then uh, it's somehow you will reduce bounce rate, we think. Uh. So um, to show you how it looks like, this is what we came up with. Um, it has like wings, and then uh, if we click on it, and then <laughs> yeah, it will open its eyes, and then uh, the eyes will move, and then you can see that the paper is jiggling, and then it will also blink. So, um, okay. These so are my uh, hackathon teammates. I just to show you how they look like. They are also here today. If you see them, yeah, you can say hi. Okay, so uh, I think first off, we wanted to approach it using uh, either web API or CSS. We didn't want to use JavaScript at all. And and then. Um, so just now, the wings, um, the feathers, I think uh, it's pretty straightforward. It's CSS animation with uh, translate or rotation. So I think the hardest part that we tackle for this uh, hackathon is to actually make it blink, make it look good when it blinks. Um, so I think the first solution that we came with was something like this. Um, can imagine the, the red color rectangle, you move up and down, up and down. So it will be just just uh, translate la. but it was a uh, I don't think it looks very natural. So the next day, um, I I don't know I might be Bang uh, who actually introduced us to uh, SVG shape morphing. So it uses SMIL, which uh, I realize is dead uh, now, but it's okay. It's okay because the lot the, the the approach is very similar. Even if you move it to let's say CSS animation or you use like let's say green sock. The idea is very, very similar. So um, the first thing we, they realize, if you want to use SMIL, is that you need to make sure that all the points in your SVG are exactly the same. Okay, uh, just to show how the bling look like. At the very end, it looks like this. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> okay, don't know why it looks like this, but then, yeah. You will move from like a semicircle to a non semicircle. <laughs> okay, so and then uh, so we saw we saw this um, tutorial and then he was telling us, you know, you go into either Illustrator or Sketch, you look at all your points inside your SVG path, and then you try and move them from one shape to another to make sure that you keep the number of shapes. So um, Okay, that's what we did. Let's go to sketch. Okay, we have our hour over here. And then, this is our top eyelid. And then, um, if you see closely, it's like 1 point, 2 point, 3 point, 4 point. Okay, there's like 4 points over here. And we literally just move this point upwards so that we will be, you will retain the all four points. Ah. So over here you will see, okay, this is the ending. Ah, yeah. 
Oh, it's over here, huh? So, okay. It also has four points. So, okay, very good. We exported it. We're like, okay, I think it's the same number of points. And then it turned out this is um, this is how the the full the full uh, semicircle look like. Then you can see over here um, because it's exported from Sketch, it has actually a lot of other metadata which you don't need. Yeah. But then if you look at the path over here, it's this long. But then this is when it's open. We're like, what? This is way more many points. And then we try to animate it, and it doesn't. It just it just changes from one state to another, and then we're like, oh shit, what kind of stuff? Then um, then later on we realized that there's this tool called Shapeshifter. Uh, it's by Android, and it's supposed to it's by Google, and it's supposed to support Android. So we kind of cheated, and we did was to actually. Okay, so this is the one. Okay, so this is one shape. This is the other shape. And then what we did was to actually copy from here, this is the path. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then you can add path data in and out. And then you will say, do you want to fix it? And we're like, oh, okay, okay, fix it. Fix it! And it works. <laughs> it's not just. Yeah, so we cheated. <laughs> um, yeah, it, it just makes sure that there are the same number of points uh, from start to the end. Uh, oh, I missed out this part. So, um, when you're working on a sketch, right, you know, the usual way of doing, let's say, two shapes is that you, you take. You take one shape that you want. And then the other one is very similar, right? Uh. And then you just flip it over. Are oh, you working with you hidden? Yeah. Okay. So, but when you do this, right? Then when you export, it will have uh, translate. You can see over here. Um, there's this part where it does a scale one minus one. This is flip it over, but then if you want to do animation, you can have it like this. So to solve this problem, you can actually choose to actually flatten it. So under here, layer, combine, flatten. Then once you flatten it, when you export, it doesn't have any of the translate or any of the scale anymore, which is what you need. Lah. And then um, at the end of the day, all you need is actually the G and the P. G stands for group, which is like a bit like uh, Grouping of layer. If you're using Illustrator, and then path is um, it's just a free free form path law, and then it will tell you uh, which point start, and then curve, 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 z, and then we just end. Okay, so um, there are, there are definitely other tools also to help you export SVG files that are much much cleaner than what we saw just now. One is that to actually uh, run this command line, and then to so when you export you'll be clean. Or if not, you can use a SVGO, but uh, using SVGO is a bit difficult for animation because um, they themselves will try to use translation or transformation so that you have even less point on your SVG. It makes small files, but not so much for, trans for animation. So um, yeah, so this is what we use. This is the one line of code that causes uh, animation to happen. Uh, you can see it tries to animate the attribute, which is just now the D path, and then you just have to put in starting, ending, starting, and you will do it will do the animation. Oh, oh hi. Okay, so this is the one. Okay, so um, just now I was saying that uh, SMIL is dead because uh, Chrome is starting to stop supporting it. It's it's a very old technology. It's been around for around a, de a decade, but then uh, there's uh, there's a gradual push towards CSS animation. So these are other alternative ways uh, of doing what uh, SMIL can do before Chrome has a total maturity in CSS animation. I think they are both JavaScript based. Um, the good thing about GreenSock is that GreenSock doesn't care about how many points. Like you can animate from four points to 10 points 
and it will still work. So you don't need to use that tool just now. But then snap.svg requires you to have the same amount of points still. So yeah, thank you. Any questions? Yes. Any questions, please. Why are you all so shy? Ask your talk more. Like pulling your teeth like that. You can ask a question like, why is the L so cute, for example? Yay. Do you draw the L yourself? Oh, so there's this thing called Copen. But, but we look at it and then we draw ourselves. So, ourselves draw lah. Yeah. Okay, okay. Can you explain how you draw the L? Uh, they are all shapes. Show the shapes. Are you okay? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Uh, oh, it's combined already, but they are not circle, circle, triangle, 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 circle, more circle, distorted circle. Yeah. 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 Yeah.